there's a difference between playing chords and comping. Playing chords is just playing chords. Comping is an art. It's hearing when to play and when not to play. It's a supporting role, not a moment to dazzle the audience with a look at me comp the f out of this shit. Stick with me as I give you a glimpse on how Lenny Bro comped for himself while playing solos. You jank. A quick note before we get started, there will be a starter PDF available for free that you can download below. If you want the complete lesson that accompanies this video, you can get it by being a member of my Patreon page, link is below, or by purchasing it at my store. I'll leave that link as well. Now let's get to the lesson. It's important to note that Lenny's earliest influences was Chet Atkins. So from an early age, his ears were already set up to hear melody and accompaniment simultaneously. Since Lenny played fingerstyle, he had the ability to sound more pianistic in his approach, meaning chords and melody coexisting at the same time, much like a piano player would do. Not impossible to do with pick and fingers. And by the way, one of his biggest influences in jazz was pianist Bill Evans. This also puts things into perspective. He actually adopted what piano players do by paring down a chord to its essentials and adapted it to guitar in a way that no other guitar player had done up to that point. The best place to start is by playing the third and the seventh. The third and seventh is the backbone of the chord that gives you the chord's basic sound. It's not colorful, but when you play with a bass player, it's all you need. tells you where a chord is major or minor. The seventh, whether it's major or seventh, or flatted, also covers a lot of harmonic territory. You achieve the essence of a chord while freeing up fingers to play melodic lines. Even though this lesson won't get into it, you have fingers freed up now to add altered fifths, ninths, and thirteenths as well. Now let's get used to holding down our two note chords while playing a scale using quarter notes on top. sometimes do a quasi Freddie Green style type of comping by using the two note chords. Another technique he used was lining up the rhythm of the chords with the line that he was playing. This is a cool way to get that piano block chord sound probably made most popular by George Shearing, Dave Brubeck, and of course, Bill Evans. support this channel and its great content. 
Well, the most simple way is to hit that like button and subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. If you are, awesome. If you can go that extra step, buy a t-shirt or a mug or something at my store, and I certainly appreciate you. If you become a member at my Patreon page, not only do you get all the PDF lessons for free, but you get discounts on all my merch, books, shirts, everything. Plus, you get to hang out with me online once a month. My favorite, hanging out with my supporters. Now back to the lesson. Lenny would often use rhythmic devices when playing lines and chords. His favorite was quarter note triplets. He would often flip the triplets in the melody to the chords and go back and forth. of sounding like two guitar players, or at least the left and right hand of a piano player. He would pick open spots in the melody or his improvised line and throw some chord punctuations in that sat really good rhythmically and let the listener know where he was harmonically. And this is probably the majority of how he played most of the time. lesson at my Patreon page or my store. And make sure you check out these other cool videos by George Shearing, Dave Brubrecht, Brubrecht, Brubeck. Brubeck.